Hey, kids, what time is that? So a funny thing happened on the internet last night while I was having fun in the Orville Nation 5,000 sub celebration stream. Congrats to you, PJ, our first YouTube friend. Really appreciate everything you've done for us to get us started here at Geek Time. And uh, congrats to you. And and let's turn that five into ten and so on and so forth. Hail Orville Nation. So um, as had put up a video earlier on Heel versus Babyface about an Oscar video with uh, Kathleen Kennedy. And uh, and I, I had been following it while I was in PJ's stream there at Orville Nation. And I, I about 6.02 p.m. is the timestamp on this, where you can see her getting completely ratioed. And the comments underneath were not friendly, um, just attacking her for the way she uh, handled the Gina Carano situation, the complete hypocrisy of her recording a video promoting women in the industry after she just disposed of one a calendar week earlier, completely tone deaf uh, and, and further proof that, you know, putting this on the Oscar website and, and selecting Kathleen Kennedy to represent women shows the complete lack of awareness, totally tone deaf uh, Hollywood. And, and the fact that th these people love to sit around and just smell each other's farts. I mean, it is seriously gross. Uh, but an hour later, at about seven o'clock Eastern time, um, I noticed I saw this happen in real time. The likes, dislikes and comments were all turned off by the Academy. Clearly um, mandated by Lucasfilm or Disney or both uh, told them to do it because they could not take the heat that was in the kitchen. They are without honor. Uh, so I quickly grabbed a screenshot uh, and put this up on Twitter and off we went. So let's take a look at Miss Kennedy's video here. Let's follow along together and, and I'm going to pause it and make a few comments along the way. But this is the video that they posted uh, on the evening of February 16th from the Oscars. Fade in. Lori Fade Atkin. in. Like, she really? was the first. Honored with a scientific and technical award in 1961 for her work at Technicolor. Lori was a scientist. I, I just want to point out the complete lack of energy here that Kathleen Kennedy displays. I mean, she's soulless. I mean, she she's really a joyless human being. And you can almost see the director saying that that was good, Kathleen, but I need more energy. Let's get the energy up and then settling for this because you just can't. This year, Haley Iben of Pixar Animation Studios, Kelly Ward Hamill and Marianne Simmons of Walt Disney Animation Studios will be the recipients of the 24th, 25th, and 26th Science and Technical Award presented to women by the Academy. Now, I just want to point something out that because they chose Kathleen Kennedy to, to sponsor this segment of the Oscars, um, they completely buried the lead here. And the lead is that these three women, Haley Kelly and Marianne, all deserve to be honored and they deserve the award for their industry work. But no, but no, because they can't use common sense and figure out that Kathleen Kennedy might not be the best person to run out a week after she completely mishandled the Gina Carano situation, showing not only uh, bias, but complete cowardice in not even firing her to her face. I mean, Gina found out on the Internet at the same time we all did late, late the evening of February 10th. So. The fact that they are completely unaware and, and tone deaf, again, bringing her out here and then getting ratioed and commented to death where these three women get lost in the story is the tragedy here. Haley, Kelly, and Marianne are on. Haley, Kelly, and Marianne are collateral damage of me, Kathleen Kennedy, the most incompetent leader in Hollywood history. Is there work to be done? More barriers to break? More progress to be made? Like, seriously? seriously, you're going to sit here and say, I hope she didn't write this. I hope this was written for her because if she wrote this, oh God. Yes, of course. But the story of women innovators making movie magic, their story isn't ready to fade out. Not even close. Today no, Kathleen, but we're ready for you to fade out. How do you like that? It is a question of honor. So uh, the story doesn't end there. Uh, if you, <laughs> this is awesome. If you, uh, 
if you look at some of the other videos that the academy posted at the same time they're also getting ratioed but what's even better are the comments so all all people did was move from this video to other videos uh here's one from robot head when you guys at the academy finish giving each other a reach around how about turning kathleen kennedy's comments back on here's one from uh hamish patterson high frequency tribe so you don't like the kathleen you don't like the kathleen kennedy's a hypocrite haha ha, strides and effect it goes on and on so that's one video let's go to another one here how about the uh, acceptance speech for the scientific and technical awards same thing they're getting ratioed not as many views of course but oh, look, look here we go uh truck to the oscars hate women by siding with corpo instead of a woman that was fired over social media from social media not even in person not even a phone call all their virtue signaling is fake don't be like the oscars women in the movie industry we love gina carano hail hail uh ryan kathleen kennedy hates strong independent women and so do the oscars absolutely right and it goes on and on and on and then <laughs> let's just go to a third one because rule of threes right and then we've got this one uh much less views but still getting horribly ratioed uh truck is in there again uh mark fower so you turned off the comments and 10k dislikes versus 102 likes on kathleen kennedy's videos there are no bone of integrity in you people all the hashtags and it goes on and on so um oscars can run but they cannot hide disney can run but they cannot hide and lucasfilm is filth and cannot run and cannot hide <laughs> So let's move over to the Hollywood distorter and uh, look at this article behind Disney's firing of Mandalorian star Gina Carano by Aaron Couch, Tatiana Siegel and Boris Kitt. We need three people to uh, three people to manufacture outrage. So um, you can find it on the Hollywood Reporter, but I just want to point out this one paragraph here that jumped out at me. Um, it says, I don't know what people at Disney personally believe or don't believe with regards to politics, but as a corporate entity, they want to stay as trouble free as possible. Well, uh, fail. And anything that's going to offend the left is a problem, says crisis PR rep Judah Engelmeyer. I have clients who are making an extraordinary effort to post what the social left wants to see. And that says it all. This is slanted. This is partisan this is about identity politics it's about partisan politics and segregating 50 percent of the customer base here in america and it's a coordinated coordinated attack and smearing no more so than this article from GameSpot. uh mason downey gina carano was fired for being a bad employee not her politics ex mandalorian actor gina carano has made waves for all the wrong reasons so let's see Let's take a look at the gaslighting by uh, Mason Downey as he falls lockstep with the Lucasfilm narrative. So Gina Carano has been fired by Lucasfilm after yet another social media scandal. If one can define social media scandal as very deliberately posting blatant anti-Semitism on a public account. That's not what happened. You're being disingenuous and you are what's called gaslighting, Mason. What she did was she post a, posted a warning that when you use your platforms to control a narrative, to uh, influence thinking from one side over another and dehumanize and segregate a section of the population and turn neighbor on neighbor, it's a warning. It was a warning about exactly what you're doing, about exactly what you're doing here, Mason. Uh, including a meme comparing experiencing any sort of pushback on her own conservative politics to being Jewish and living in Nazi Germany. Okay, Gina has never stated what her politics are. It's only been assumed what her politics are. I'd like you to provide some receipts here, Mason. You don't provide any receipts. It's easy to sit here and, and put your opinion into a piece, which is hack journalism, oh, by the way. Um, but But I don't see any proof here. I don't see you posting what she posted and letting the letting us make a subjective opinion on it. Let's continue. These posts were just the latest in a long line of public aggressions, were they? Both micro and macro, oh, here we go, from Carano, who has had a long history of making deeply inappropriate and downright offensive posts against vulnerable minorities. Where, when? Where? Put the receipts here, bro. 
Where? And then immediately falling into defensive self-victimization. If there's one thing Gina Carano doesn't do is fall into self-victimization. This is a woman who got punched in the face for a paycheck at one point in her life. She is a strong, independent woman who does not bend a knee to people like you, Mason Downey. Oh, I would just love for you to say this to her face. I'd love you to repeat this first paragraph in person to Gina Carano. Something tells me you wouldn't even take the opportunity. It's not the groups she's mocking or blatantly attacking that are being hurt by her actions. It's her. And actually, the people reacting to her post in a negative way are the real bullies here. Well, I would I would say that last sentence is kind of accurate. But uh, it seems like you're one of those bullies, Mason. So, yeah, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of the whole thing. Um, look, it's as simple as this. Uh, Gina was a victim of a targeted attack that began when she politely, politely refused to put pronouns in her bio and then responded with a joke, beep, bop, boop. And since then, she's had a target on her back. She's been gaslit. She's been ostracized. She's been bullied. She's been baited. Now, she didn't help her cause by continuing to respond to these idiots on social media. Perhaps that's what sowed her fate in the end. She probably should have just turned away, but that's not her style. That's not what she does. She thinks different. Remember those Apple ads we all used to love? Think different. All those pioneers, all those loud, outspoken weirdos, the square peg in the round hole. Well, that's Gina Carano. So uh, one last joke on my way out the door. Uh, I, I saw this today on uh, Pirates and Princesses. Um, Marvel and Star Wars Day at Sea sailings return to Disney Cruise Line for 2022. Just what people want on the heels of a pandemic to be stuck on a boat with people from fucking Star Wars. <laughs> you serious? Well, thanks for watching. Uh, please like this video if so inclined or dislike the video if so inclined. We can take it. Uh, leave a comment. Please subscribe and, and share the video if so inclined. Uh, we're trying to build our little channel here and it's it's rough going at the beginning folks so uh hey until our next video you guys all have a great day and we will talk to you soon if you like this video please subscribe to the channel if you subscribe make sure you click the little bell icon to be notified anytime someone from our show drops new content here thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon hey kids what time is that